Uh oh, so it's not good. I got my hook. Often mistaken for egrets or cranes, the great blue heron is the largest in its genus. Perhaps this heron came in close proximity because it is a juvenile. You can tell because of this gray slate colored down on its back. As this heron matures, it'll emerge a white feathered crest on its head. It'll take this bird three years to reach adulthood, and its legs will turn bright orange. Its skin surrounding its beak will turn cobalt blue. The yellow bill will transition to orange, and the iris will turn more red. Full-grown adults surpass three feet in height. They have a wingspan of six and a half feet and weigh nearly six pounds. So where do these guys sleep? Although some gray herons nest at ground level, the majority does in trees, all the way up to 100 feet high. When an abundance of them live together, they're labeled heron rays or rook rays. One notable fact on how the great blue heron counters hot temperatures is by stooping down and opens its beak to flutter throat muscles, which is called color fluttering. So what does this bird eat? The great blue heron's diet is comprised of fish, amphibians, snakes, and other reptiles, insects, small mammals, crayfish, and sadly, baby ducklings.